Now back to the uh, Olympics for a moment. If you've been paying attention to the news in, in Sochi, you probably heard uh, about all the stray dogs over there. There are packs of dogs roaming the streets. They've even been spotted in the hotel. So last night, Kate Hansen, who's a member of the U.S. Luge team, posted a video using her Twitter and YouTube accounts of what appeared to be a wolf wandering the hallway of her dorm. Scary, right? So that went online after midnight last night, and almost immediately it caught fire. Within minutes of Kate posting it, almost every news and sports website has a story on it. Even weather.com had a story on it, <laughs> in case you needed your four day wolf forecast. But here's the thing that was not a Russian wolf, that was an American wolf. And I know this because the wolf is backstage right now. We shot the video, and and Kate Hansen posted it for us from her account, and a, a media frenzy was born. We've already heard about some of the problems Olympians have experienced in Sochi, but nothing to this extent. Check out what loser Kate Hansen shared on Twitter. The 17-second clip shows a large canine casually walk past her room. A wolf in the hallway, and I'm not talking blitzer. She's shooting out from the door. Outside her room in the Olympic Village. I'm glad you're not in this hallway. There's no word on how it got inside the Olympic Village. They've since gotten it out of there. There's a stray dog problem. Maybe they also have a stray wolf problem. So they got rid of the dogs, but there's wolves. You've heard of the wolf of Wall Street? How about the Wolf of Olympic Village? The Wolf of Sochi. Now, that's not the Wolf from Wall Street or the movie thing. Mm, this is different. No, no, no. it's not Jonah okay. Hill, no. Okay. Um, what's going on here? It's just unbelievable. Oh, gosh. Makes me, gives me chills. Wolf, husky, the internet is fueled by debate right now. I think it might have been a dog, but it's definitely wolf size. Could you get the vet to come in here at some point and look She's at this video? It does kind of look like a husky type dog. Dog's got a little wolf in it. That could be like a descendant of a wolf. A large dog. That looks like it could be a wolf. A German Shepherd husky mix. <laughs> that's a wolf. Perhaps a Malamute. People, that's a wolf. Or a Nikita or a German Shepherd. That's a wolf. It's just a mud. That's a wolf. I think husky though. What is it? That's a wolf. <laughs> It looks like maybe a husky, except for it's not. Whatever it is, it's a rather beautiful looking creature. What is happening? Pretty weird. Weird. Yeah, weird. And it is a wolf, by the way. And when we come back, we are going to, um, we're going to talk to Kate Hansen, our partner in this prank, live from Sochi, and we'll show you the full wolf video, too. There's more wolf there. Before the break, <laughs> I made a confession. I confess to being responsible for the Sochi wolf video that's been all over the internet and TV today. Last night, a member of the Olympic luge team tweeted a video that showed a wolf wandering the hallway of her dorm in Sochi. As soon as she posted it, the media went nuts, which is what I was hoping for, and uh, it got a lot of coverage, but you've only seen half of the clip. This is the whole thing. Conspirator for this was U.S. Olympic loser Kate Hansen. They call her Dancing Kate Hansen because you've probably seen this video. Somebody shot of her listening to Beyonce on her headphones and warming up for the event. She let us have control of her Twitter account to do this. And joining us now, live from Sochi, U.S. Olympic prankster Kate Hansen. Hello, Kate. <laughs> So uh, I want to say thank you, thank you for helping us with this important mission. Yeah, you know, anytime I can offer my services. <laughs> Are you? Did you get in trouble at all for doing this? Um, you know, honestly, there was a little bit more backlash than oh, I there thought was. there would be, but um, you know, it's all worth it in the end. You know what? Though I will say this: the U.S. Olympic Committee or whoever should remember one important thing. U.S. stands for United States, and we have a little something called freedom of expression here. So, if they give you any trouble, just point them to the Constitution. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay. 
Okay, I'll be the first to do that. <laughs> All right. Now, you're from here in the LA area. In fact, your family is here in, in the audience tonight. How did you get into luging in Southern California? You know, um, I kind of like to say that luging or luge just kind of found me. Um, they do these recruitment programs where they travel around America, and it's pretty much like an open call for all kids in the area just to come try it out. And I see. my dad had heard about it from a friend, and I grew up surfing and skating, and I guess he kind of saw a correlation, and turns and, out he was right. And now you're at the Olympics. It's pretty great. So what was the reaction after you posted this video? Um, well, so I was, it was morning for me, and it had just posted, and I, like, didn't really know, like, should I, like, tell my teammates, like, guys, oh, my gosh, last night, you won't believe it, but I didn't want to, like, openly bring it up because uh -huh. that, that's not cool. That's uh -huh. not how you play it. So <laughs> I just kind of, you know, just kind of laid low, but then um, I started hearing people talk around the building, and uh -huh. security started freaking out because it technically was a breach within, you know, athlete safety. So... Um, it kind of went a little, kind of went a little crazy over here, but um, are there we any it. are there any wolves in your hotel? Just for the record, um, I mean I've seen a few, <laughs> but they lose the heart. You sent us some photographs of your hallway in the dorm there, and that's the photograph Kate sent us. And so we matched it here in in our studio here in LA. It's actually it, so. What we did is we built this. <laughs> this is this is how stupid our job is. We had a, a team of our art department. It took them like 15 hours to construct an exact replica of Kate's dorm. And we hired a wolf also. We hired a, a real wolf, not a, not, by the way, not a husky or a dog like everyone kept saying on the internet. Uh, the wolf, in fact, we have the wolf. The wolf's name is Rugby, and um, there's Rugby and his trainer, That's Molly. Right. Now, Molly, what percentage wolf is rugby? So rugby actually is a timber wolf mix. Um, and so we don't know for sure the percentage. We did rescue him. But uh, we believe about 80 to 95% wolf. Look at Guillermo, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Guillermo, do you want to do you want to give him a kiss? Do you want to give him a big kiss? No, no. I you don't, know, really? No, no. Or do you want to pet rugby a little bit? You can pet him. Okay, man, look at all that attraction. Well, thank you, Molly, and thank you, Rugby. You did thank a great you. job. Kate, I'd love to do this again. Would you consider bringing a live bear to the closing ceremonies? Yeah, let me see what I can find. I mean, there's kind of a lot of force going on here, but, um, you know, anything for you, Jimmy. Well, thank you so much, and for your help, we are going to present you with the uh, Olympic gold medal for pranking. Um, <laughs> all right? I want to get that to you. <laughs> Have fun at the rest of the Olympics. There she is, Kate Hansen, the girl who tweeted Wolf. Thank you, Kate. Everything is perfectly fine. No danger in Sochi at all.